we would like to welcome you to the HP Spotlight with your hosts, Bishop Ernest and Apostle Laquilla Hunter. We have an extraordinary broadcast for you on tonight, featuring two dynamic songs by the HP band, followed by a cooking demo by the Hunters. Buckle in for another exciting episode of the HP Spotlight. How many of y'all know overflow in your life? Yeah. There's going to be overflow in your life. You got to decree it. Yeah. And you got to believe it. This is the year of overflow. This is the year of overflow. I expect a miracle. Double O. This is the year of overflow. This is the year of overflow. I expect the miracle of an old time overflow. Come on, listen. You've been watching, waiting, fasting, praying, wanting more. You've been It's a miracle you're still here. 
God is able. Says all you got to do is trust in the Lord with all the heart. Trust in the Lord with all the heart. Lean not, <laughs> lean not to the own understanding. Put it all. Before You Call Me Sis, A Term of Endearment by Apostle Aquila Hunter is a thought-provoking book that challenges us to understand the true meaning of sisterhood. Some women are so used to using the term sis or sister that it is used loosely. They don't take into consideration the definition of this word as a term of endearment. Many people have been slandered, broken, and destroyed by the same women who call themselves sisters. This book is a great read and it will empower and educate the reader on what true sisterhood should look like. It will also help them to evaluate current relationships to ensure they are healthy, promoting advancement, and are mutually beneficial. Purchase your copy today on our website, www.hpmusicandarts.com. Sunday Morning is a song of inspiration to uplift your spirits, written by the Hunters. Download this awesome song today, available on all digital outlets. You won't be disappointed. Gotta get on up. Gotta get on up. Gotta get on up. 
We also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, 100 with the Hunters, and be sure to hit that bell to get all of our notifications. 100 with the Hunters on YouTube. Cooking with the Hunters. I am Ernest E. Hunter. I'm LaQuan the Hunter. This is my sexy wife here. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Look, you need to call your mama, call your daddy, <laughs> call your cousin, get on Facebook and tell them you are watching Cooking with the Hunters. Yes. yes. Miss Hunter. Yes, that's me. How you doing? Doing good. That was you for uh, going on 18 years. 18 years. All Woo! right, all right, all right. <laughs> And uh, uh, we had an agreement when we first got married no, that no, uh, no, no, no. I would work and bring home all the money, pay the bills, and she would cook and clean. Now, somehow so you the know other, that went down here. <laughs> somehow or the other, I, I seem like I started to pick up all the cooking and stuff. Yeah, and I so. still clean. <laughs> yeah, she do that, but she, she, she gave me one of her job of cooking. But anyhow, uh, what are we going to do today, Miss Hunter? Uh, today, I believe you're going Wait, to... Wait, what did that say? Kiss the cook. Come on, tighten All up. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make this me want to cook. This is family oriented. <laughs> Make me want to cook. All right, all family right. Family oriented. <laughs> America, America. <laughs> right. Yes, uh, all right. So what, today we're going to do uh, meatballs. Yes. We, we, we're going to do meatballs. I've been, I, 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 when I go out to restaurants, yeah. I love meatballs. I can order meatballs just by themselves. Yeah, he can. I, I always, especially when I go to Italian restaurants, I order a side of, of, of meatballs. Yes, yeah, with marinara. And, yeah, I gotta <laughs> have that marinara sauce on it. But uh, so today we're gonna do an easy and simple way to cook your meatballs. Because I know, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we be busy a lot of times, and you know, we go coming, going to work, and all that good stuff, coming home from work, and so. Uh, it's a simple way, quick and easy way to uh, cook your meatballs. And the really good thing about this is once you cook your meatballs in the saucer, you can toast you the hoagie bread and do a meatball sub, throw on the, uh, your mozzarella cheese. You can easily just put on a side of pasta, put some marinara on the top, and have a quick uh, spaghetti dish. Yeah. Uh, now, um, you can use, uh, when, when you're doing your meatballs, you can use ground uh, beef. Yes, you can. Uh, I, like, I like to do a mixture of ground beef, ground veal, and ground pork. Yeah. Yes, and so uh, uh, we, we like to, uh, you can, uh, if you don't like that, you can do either or, either ground turkey, ground veal by itself, ground pork by itself. Um, and so uh, we're going to get right in. Uh, I've seen them. Mix together. Yeah. Um, um, you can use salt, pepper, uh, um, basil, uh, parsley. Um, uh, today I'm, I'm going to use, um, y'all know my secret, secret ingredient. Secret sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you, you use my secret ingredients in hand. You just throw on in there. Now, now, this has already been... Uh, and you can also go 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 to our website as well, our blog, and the ingredients is right there on on the blog as well. So, uh, for, but for today we're just gonna right. use salt, a little bit of salt. Never can go wrong with salt; brings out the flavor. Because yeah. Nothing's worse than a dry meatball with no flavor. Have you ever had yeah. a dry meatball, no flavor? You like just take this back. You pepper. Know, I want my money back. Pepper. All right, pepper. Yeah. And and you can put whatever you want in in there. Um, Parmesan. Pom oh my goodness, you're gonna put Parmesan yes. in it. Yes. Yeah. I'll marry him all over again. Parmesan will do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also do mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, whatever you like. Breadcrumbs. Uh, usually, uh, get two eggs. Um, 
and uh, if you don't have breadcrumbs, whole bread is mm -hmm. good. Yes. You know, you got to just knead it on up in there real good. And if you get good, let's say that you uh, did a meatloaf and you had some um, hamburger or ground beef left, you go ahead and make sure that's seasoned, put it in your Ziploc, hold that, because the next morning you can do what? Get your meatballs ready for lunch or for dinner. Yes. Ooh, now, you want to make sure you have, um, I use, um, um, I, I like to use olive oil. You can also use uh, coconut oil. Our which favorite, is sweet. Yeah, yeah. And it's very healthy, coconut oil. You kind of try to stay away from the butter, the grease, and things like that. Yeah. And anything that you're cooking grill wise or skillet wise, it's always going to be better than fried. Yeah. Yeah. And most people think that you have to, you know, get your meatballs and run them through the oven. You don't. You can do it right from a skillet. Now, when, 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 when you roll up, you know, just roll up real good. Now, you can make it as big as you want or as little as, as you want. Uh, but today, we're going to do a little medium, medium ones. Now, uh, usually you want to have, have your heat to medium, uh, medium high to, to medium. And you want to let it cook for about, um, depends on how big your meatball is. But anywhere from four, four to ten minutes. Depends on the size of the meatball. You want to check? Yeah. It, and make sure that uh, you, you coat it, coat the bottom or oh, the pan with enough oil. Yeah, yeah. And I tell you, these, these uh, as it you can smell good. the aroma just floating through the house. <laughs> yeah. And it's quick. Yeah, um, it's, it's also something you can do with the kids. You can yeah. bring them in and have them roll mm -hmm. them. It's just a good, good family meal that you can do together. Now, you, you, like I said, you can use marinara sauce, but uh, I like to eat it just like it is. Yeah. I mean, I slice that bad boy, throw some mozzarella cheese up there, <laughs> some of that Parmesan, good God almighty. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell you, it's some good eating. Uh, you can have different sauces, so and, as, as y'all tasted, we had, we had a lot of sauces yeah. to go with them, and I, I know it, it was good. Yeah. I know it yeah. was good, yes, sir. And those meatballs were so big that we were able to slice them. Yeah. And you still felt fulfilled, mm -hmm. you know, fulfilled eating them. And just like my wife said, uh, you can eat them just like that, or you, you can um, uh, put them with, with your spaghetti, put it with, with, with your pasta. Uh, you can make uh, meatball subs, sub. meatball subs, you know, just toast the bread and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. Nice hors yeah. d'oeuvres for a nice little party and gathering and things of that nature. Uh, something the kids can do. You can call and say, look, get those meatballs searing in that pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are delicious. And so it's cooking. Do, do, yeah. At this time, do we just like turn it? Well, and see? well, you you want to make sure you get a good uh, yeah. Oh yeah, turn that looks up good. There. Oh Ooh. yeah, as you can see That's there. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you want to make sure you get all sides. Mm -hmm. And it's browning those. Uh, yeah. You know, of course, you know it marinated overnight, and those seasonings are just going through. So when you taste it, it's gonna be nice <laughs> and robust. Ooh, you smell that aroma. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Uh, Yes, sir. Uh, yes, indeed. And it won't be hard to digest because sometimes when you beef can be hard. You know, you don't want it sitting in your in your stomach after you know. But if you do a small meatball, you know, you can yeah. enjoy it and not suffer later. And, and, and <laughs> sometimes, especially like with, with with the ground turkey, you know, a lot of people might not like the pork, or they might like uh, not like the the uh, beef. Yeah. Get ground turkey. Very ground, good. Ground, ground turkey. Very good. Or shoot, go ahead and get lamb. Ground lamb. It's very good. And you, you make your meatball with ground lamb. Meatballs. Yes. Yes, indeed. I think we're just about there. Almost. Almost. Yes, indeed. And it just looks so beautiful. The yes, smell is it running does. through your kitchen, running through your house. Mm -hmm. Everyone's ready to eat. Your you whole know. neighborhood coming over for this. Wow. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mmm. Yes, indeed. I think we about ready there. Yep. The meatballs you tried, were they moist? Did you? Could yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Pony do it. He will. Ha. America, America. Lord have mercy. Ha. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, let me get another one there. Let me yeah. get another one in there. Of course, you know, I would need more than two meatballs. <laughs> well, if I knew that, I would have made one big one. Yes, sir. 
All right. And there you have it, y'all. I'm there. <laughs> the meatball. <laughs> HP Music and Arts presents Grandma's Song. That's right, HP Music and Arts' first musical stage play, Grandma's Song, is now available on DVD. <laughs> You definitely want to get this hand clapping, foot stomping, riveting music added to your DVD collection. Take a walk down memory lane as we sing songs that your grandmother used to sing. Purchase your DVD today. Contact us at 757-556-5247 or order on our website www.hpmusicandarts.com. There's a spiritual epidemic sweeping through the body of Christ. Divorce rates and separation are at an all-time high in the church arena and very few are speaking about it. Well, Bishop and Apostle Hunter have written a book, Ministry Shall Not Destroy My Marriage. This book will bring insight and awareness to Satan's tactics against marriage and expose and annihilate his plan while restoring God's original intent for successful and harmonious marriages and ministries. To receive your copy, visit our website at www.hpmusicandarts.com. And remember, Ministry Shall Not Destroy Your Marriage. We thank you for watching the HP Spotlight. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, we invite you to write us a letter or send a donation. If you're writing a letter, you can send it to P.O. Box 533, Windsor, Virginia 23487. Or you can make a donation via Cash App at dollar sign HP Music and Arts. Or via PayPal at HP Music and Arts at gmail.com or via our website, www.hpmusicandarts.com. Or you can also mail that donation to P.O. Box 533, Windsor, Virginia, 23487. If you're an artist, author, or entrepreneur, and would like to be featured on the HP Spotlight, you can also email us at hpmusicandarts at gmail.com. Again, we thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next week.